My understanding of mission has changed since I've been at CMS. I thought it was something that was done in foreign countries, particularly in Africa, and obviously Church Mission Society has that history. But I know it's very much about the local context in my town and going out amongst the people who are there and meeting their needs. My understanding of mission has changed um, in that I think it's become a more global perspective for me since coming to CMS. Um, I've always thought about local mission, but not necessarily um, the impact that I have on, on the wider world. If someone told me that mission is a Western thing, I would probably say, well, no. It's not true. <laughs> it can't <laughs> be, because if, if mission is God's, if, you know, this idea of the Missio Dei, the, the mission of God, uh, if we are partakers in, in his mission, then we all share a part in that mission. And so it has to be uh, something that belongs to everyone. So uh, is Western, is Oriental, is Asian, is African, is, is Latin American. To call anybody to, to follow Christ is to call them to engage in God's mission. And, and wherever they serve God is God's business. Uh, they, 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 they can serve God in their own neighborhood, they can serve God across the oceans. They can serve God um, in, 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 in Birmingham where probably they are born or they can serve God in Malawi and for a Malawian you can serve God in Malawi but also you can serve God in Birmingham, it's, it's matter directional. It is still generally accepted as normal for Europeans or Westerners, Americans to go and engage in God's mission in, in Africa, for instance, in Asia, in Latin America. When somebody comes from those places, when an African comes from Africa, for instance, to engage in God's mission, to participate, to serve in God's mission in Europe, among Europeans, most people still find that surprising. It's almost like the Christendom is still here. They, they can't imagine that the Europe that was sending missionaries to Africa 100 years ago now needs to receive missionaries from the rest of the world. If you assume that mission, for example, is a Western thing, it assumes that people in the global South, in Africa, Asia, Latin America, are poorer than us in every way. In our own lives, mission has been very multidirectional because we are from Brazil and we have been uh, obviously raised and trained and prepared by the Brazilian church, then sent over here to England to uh, do mission here. And then now we're being sent by the English church where we've, you know, who's invested in us and, and prepared us. And now we're being sent back to Brazil to carry out mission there. So I suppose we are living examples of multi-directional mission, isn't it? Because yeah. we are we're it really. Yeah, we I mean, experienced here like yeah. this whole mission. Uh, yeah, and I suppose for us global mission is very much local because it doesn't it doesn't matter where we are, you know, we, we're local here, we're local there. You know, it depends how well you fit in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I came to Europe um, somewhere around 2000, 2001, uh, at an invitation of a, a pastor in Switzerland who was uh, leading a small school of ministry and, and needed help. So he sort of called for help from, from, my, from my church in Malawi and the church decided to send me to Switzerland. I was coming from Malawi at a time when Christianity was growing really fast in, in Malawi and I ended up in St. Gallen 
North Switzerland and it felt like there was no Christianity at all. Uh, I, I remember the, the shock of realizing that the land of the Reformation now needed, needed missionaries coming from the rest of the world to come and, and, and re-evangelize it. Mission is local or global? I think both because you need to start mission in your own home I think and then you know in your local churches and uh, through that you can sort of have a experience you know, through your work and then go elsewhere to share the gospel. Mm. Or mission has to be local because it happens in a locality it's it's uh, yeah it's always a local community that engages with with the extended community uh, that will uh, carry out mission now sometimes that will spill over across frontiers across borders and that's when I think mission becomes global I, I see migration as quite critical uh, when it comes to mission in Europe and the West the global Christianity that we see now is a fruit of the migration of the Europeans in the 1800s uh, and so now those migrations have sort of reversed it's uh, it's the Christian Africans for instance the Christian South Koreans um, and, and, and Latin Americans that are coming to Europe coming to the West and they're bringing their Christianity with them If the West is to learn, uh, particularly in times of decline here in Europe, from uh, other contexts where church is growing massively, because church is in decline here, but in the global south, uh, in the global south is very much in the up. Uh, they must have something to tell us about how this whole thing works. This learning that we've been talking about, this learning between settings so for example uh, this uh, if the English church is to learn from the Brazilian experience of Christianity for example um, that must happen through people in addition to engaging Christians that are in other parts of the world the West really has an opportunity to engage non-western Christians living among them there are things that Africans need to learn from Westerners regarding mission in the West. For instance, of course, just just how, how, how do we understand Western culture? If, if we are going to reach out to Westerners, we need to understand their culture. The same, in the same way, uh, there are things that Africans bring to the table that the West needs to hear. I'm reminded of the, the text in, in Corinthians where Paul is saying, does one part of the body have the right to say to another part of the body, I don't need you? Can European Christians say to Asian Christians, we don't need you? That's, 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 not, that's not right. We all need one another because when we get together, we, we, we experience God better.